To our next topic, hoverboards aren't just a prop in the Back to the Future movies. They could soon become reality. Lexus has just released video of its new invention. Okay, that's probably not actually right. Not reality, <laughs> right? Based on our conversation. What do we know about this Lexus hoverboard? How it's is it different from other It's ideas? a great marketing video. I'll put, I'll give them that. Um, so what Lexus is doing right now, I should say, because we're in 2015, I don't know if you know, but in the movie Back to the Future 2, he goes to 2015. So all these engineers are really on a kick to make all that technology technology come true, so it's great marketing. But what Lexus did in this video is they're showing something that they say is really hovering, it's really working, it's using uh, magnet technology, and it's being cooled uh, with, you know, all, the, all these great smoke effects. But it, this is something where the on the bottom it looks like concrete, it's not exactly what it looks like. They have magnets in this special environment, so this isn't something that you can use anywhere, although it works. They made a special environment where the, the bottom is conducted. So what you're saying is what we would have to see if we wanted a back to the future like reality mm -hmm. is magnets in sidewalks everywhere. Exactly. Yes. Conductive services. Easy. Yeah. Well, we'll just, you know, fund that on Kickstarter. All right. <laughs> so this is technology actually that has been done before. This is not the first hoverboard we've seen. Um, you might have heard last year of something called the Hendo hoverboard. Once again, a controlled environment, copper on the bottom, but it can hover. Uh, it just shows what's possible out there. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, we're not going to be doing what Marty McFly did and flying all over town over water. That, that sounds, that'll be impressive. It sounds dangerous anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bridget Carey, thank you so much. Thank you.